for Elden Ring's runes, items, and weapons, max level on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and up to 30% off this week, head over to u4gm.com and use the code CARPO for an extra 5% off. Once again, welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today we have an amazing staff to get after. This one, the Carrion Glint Stone Staff, can be yours today, capable of boosting your Carrion Sword Sorceries up to 15%. Oh boy, it's a good one. And today, I'll show you exactly where you need to go in order to pick this up. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now the Carrion Glint Stone Staff can be found at the Carrion Study Hall. Well, how do you get there? From the very first steps, you either can either cut through Stormville Castle, take out a couple bosses, or go around the back end side. It's going to dump you off at the Lernia Lakes. From here, you want to head to the Gate Town Bridge Saving Grace Point to the Study Hall Entrance Saving Grace Point. That's right, we're headed to the Carrion Study Hall. Now, once you are there, we are going to make our way over to this lovely, lovely staff. And yeah, it's a good one, ladies and gentlemen. So we're about to have some fun with it. Now, once you are here, you need to pull this little lever to take this tram up if it's not already down for you and basically take it up. Now, once we're over there, there's going to be plenty of stuff for us to get in this area. There is a nice sorcery that we can get. And of course, we have a staff and there's a talisman located over here, too, all of which I have guides for for you. So no worries. I got you covered. So once you are here. We're gonna head up these stairs, and once you head up these stairs, there's going to be an NPC that we're gonna to have to take out. Well, you actually can pass it by, but if it's your very first time here, you're gonna be bombarded with plenty of puppets, and yes, it will be an NPC that you can take out. You should see a video pop up right there. That is how you can get the lovely, amazing downpour sorcery from Perceptor Merum that's going to be right here in this location. So after you finish taking that dude out, if you haven't taken out first, you can head over here and pick yourself up to carry and go in some staff. It's just sitting right here. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Do you need a strength of six, dexterity of eight, and an intellect of 24 in order to boost your carrying sword sorceries? Yep, it's a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Adds extra 15% damage to carrion sword sorcery. So, what are these carrion sword sorceries? Well, we have sorceries like this one, the carrion slicer. We also have the carrion great sword, as well as the carrion piercer. And last but not least, one of my favorites, we have none other than Abdullah's Moonblade, which is really, really cool. So what we're gonna do is test this out first at the gate first, then we're gonna take it to the mountaintops of the giants. Now, Abdullah's moon blade is phenomenal. Already it's good. Now, if you have an extra 15% damage, it's even better. If you get yourself a Luzette Glintstone Staff in the left hand, well, you boost it up even more. And guess what? I don't even have a sorcery talisman on, and it's doing this much damage. So just imagine how much damage you can get if you decide to mod this bad boy up. Now, what we are going to do now is we're at the mountaintops of the giant, pop my golden valve for a little extra boost on the damage with my glint stone staff in the left hand, and of course, our carrying glint sword staff in the right hand. Oh boy, does it do work. We're going to finish this dude off with the carrying slicer, and yep, each one of these sorceries all of a sudden becomes super OP with both of these staffs in your hand. So there you have it, the carrying glint stone staff. I showed you how to go get this bad boy. Now all you have to do is get out there, go pick it up today. Or if you already have it, dust it off and try it out like I've been using it. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. But for right now, that's pretty much going to for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Gamer, I upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.